Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. Today I have my everyday makeup to show you. Um, I haven't filmed one of these uh, makeup tutorials in such a long time, but today I wanted to show you what I do every day um, for winter as well. So all the products, makeup products I use on my skin for winter. And this is sort of like a um, festive inspired look, but this is what I would wear today uh, to go out for the shops. Um, so my everyday makeup and I also have a super 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 exciting um, unboxing with you, a luxury unboxing with you that I'm really excited about. I can't wait to show you what I have today but before we uh, go into that I um, just wanted to do my makeup with you. So um, I already got um, myself sorted so I had shower, I did my skincare, I did my hair sort of so just um, a bun not very really messy bun but uh, a proper bun like I like to wear and uh, yeah my skin is now all um, plumped and uh, hydrated so I applied all my skincare already if you guys want to see what I wear every day I will leave uh, my skincare routine linked above for you I don't think I've changed many products uh, since I filmed that routine if I have changed any product I actually think I haven't changed any product um, yeah, I don't think I have changed any product, so yeah, I'll leave it for you if you want to check it out. But one thing I would like to say before I start my makeup is that I really like to apply my skincare um, before I do my hair, and then I'll take a while, I have a coffee, which I already had today, and then later on I'll have um, my makeup sorted and I'll apply my makeup. This is because if you apply your makeup straight away after you do your skincare, sometimes you have too much product all of a sudden in your skin, and then you get those little, um, you know what I mean, little bits of product rolling out of your skin. So it's really important to let all of the skincare um, be absorbed by the skin before you apply your makeup. And that's super important if you want to do an eyeshadow look like I'm doing today. So yeah, that's a really, really important uh, thing. I also, um, this morning on the shower, I also exfoliated my skin. Um, I usually do it twice a week, sometimes once a week, depending um, on how my skin is feeling. So yeah, I use the Caudalie Gentle Buffing Cream. I will leave it linked down below as I will all of the other products that I'm going to use today. So yeah guys, I will um, bring it closer now and we will start the makeup. Okay guys, you are uh, closer now. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is apply some foundation. And the one I've been wearing recently is the uh, Chanel Ultra Lita uh, foundation. My shade, if I'm not mistaken, is the B20, but is this one uh, right here. So Chanel Ultra Lita uh, foundation in shade B20. This is a, a long wear uh, matte foundation, uh, which is my favorite, especially for winter time. I I do like the glowy look, but I prefer the matte look. So that's what I'm gonna apply. So basically what I'm gonna do is apply it on my finger and then I'm gonna uh, just tap the skin like I usually do. You guys have seen this if you have seen any of my uh, makeup tutorials. So yeah, I'll just do that and then I will apply directly on the skin. Some people like to apply it on the sponge uh, or on the brush. But to be honest, I uh, prefer to apply it directly on the skin so that I won't waste any products. Then I will get a beauty blender and I'll just tap it, that into the skin. Okay, so I will grab my beauty blender and this is a normal uh, sponge. It's not actually the uh, beauty blender. Uh, blender um, brand but it's wet and uh, that's really important when you use a sponge and what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna use the bigger side and I'm just gonna tap that into the skin uh, with just little taps like you guys are seeing now and yeah I'll just do that first I uh, don't like to apply too much foundation um, because you know sometimes you put too much and then you get that that cakey look and that's not very pretty at all so I do like to apply just a little bit and then if I need more I'll just go on on top and just apply on top because um, it's always easier to apply more than to take out if you put too much obviously so yeah I'm just gonna do that and obviously as you guys are seeing I have my fringe so I'm not gonna go under the fringe because it doesn't make any sense if if you have a fringe like I do um, I like my French to be perfect, as you guys are seeing, and uh, yeah, I don't like to 
uh, to go under the fringe because I don't need any makeup there so it doesn't make any sense for me to apply any um, sort of makeup underneath my fringe. I did my uh, skincare and that's enough and uh, yeah just like to tap that in very well and as you guys are seeing I don't have a lot of product going on so I'm gonna apply a little bit more uh, so I'm gonna do the same thing I'll just apply it here on my finger and I'm gonna go in there those areas which I need a little bit more and I'll go in again with the beauty blender with the sponge I shouldn't say beauty blender because it's not the beauty blender brand although I have one but a normal sponge will do the work you don't need really to buy the beauty blender um, brand if if you you don't want to uh, a normal beauty blender will do the trick just fine and uh, yeah so yeah guys I today I wanted to do a makeup with you because I haven't done it in such a long time that I just yeah just fancy doing it okay after this I'm going in with my uh, concealer and one I like using is the Yves Saint Laurent Radiant Touch so this one right here uh, I use the shade 2 medium and I'm just gonna apply that directly uh, onto my eye so it's like a little pan as you guys are seeing you just press this little button here and I will apply here uh, for my dark circles a little bit on there and I will do the same uh, in the other eye then I will do a little bit here and here which are the places where I usually lose my makeup uh, more uh, during the day a little bit on there and then a little bit on here and I will work the product in with the beauty blender so with the same sponge I'll just go in and just tap that in the same way so just like tapping the same way I like to do my nose and chin first because I like the product um, underneath the eyes to so get a little bit tacky which helps uh, setting in the, uh, the product settling in the product so yeah uh, by the way I'm no makeup artist I'm not a specialist in makeup in any sorts I just you know this is what I do that works for me and I just wanted to show you what I do but yes I'm not a makeup artist of any any sorts so you guys you know this is just what I um, like to do every day and what I found out that works for me over the years so yeah so I'm gonna do the same underneath my eyes just a little bit softer though because obviously I want the product to go in but I want to be a bit more delicate in this area and just work the product in and then with what's left uh, on the sponge I'll go, go in onto my eyelid so I'll just apply the leftovers literally on my eyelid like this and just try to make sure the product is all even on my eyelid and uh, yeah yeah like I said I'm no makeup artist guys this is just what I like to do what works for me so um, yeah I had a few requests to be honest when I first started my YouTube channel to do some makeup tutorials from friends but obviously you know I like to do what you guys like to see so to be uh, honest I had more um, more uh, requests for other types of videos until now so that's why I haven't done too much makeup I've, I did in the beginning but now um, I haven't but today I really wanted to do makeup with you uh, my everyday makeup so I decided to do it and um, I decided to uh, join it with uh, uh, my luxury unboxing because obviously I think it will be more um, interesting for you guys oh someone is ringing me let me just check what it is nothing important so I'll just leave it okay guys after the foundation and the concealer um, I'm gonna do some primer on my eyelids and I'm gonna use the Kiko eye base so this one right here it's very affordable um, product so you can just use it um, you don't need a very expensive one I don't think this has a number no it's just an, a normal uh, base uh, primer for all your eyelids and I'm gonna apply a little bit on my finger 
like that and I'm gonna tap that onto the lid. So I have long, long, long nails as you guys can see but I will try to do my best. Long nails are not my friend when it comes to makeup, at least for me. Sometimes I do struggle a bit, especially here in the inner corners, I do struggle a bit. But yeah, just tap it, we're not rubbing it because obviously if I rub it, it won't um, get very smooth and I want a very smooth layer so that I can apply my eyeshadow later on and uh, yeah I'm gonna do that after the concealer because I want the product to dry a little bit before I apply the eyeshadow and I'm gonna do a little bit under the eye here as well so again very softly just a little bit so that and um, I have a little bit of base in there as well so that if I want to apply any eyeshadow here, the skin is all also um, done, also treated. And yeah, this is a, a little bit of primer in the eyes. And now I will let these products dry. And I will apply a little bit of powder. The powder I really love um, is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This one right here. And uh, my shade is, mm, I'm not sure, but I'll leave it linked down below, guys. Um, the name is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder from Laura Mercier. Um, and I will leave it linked down below. So I do this because I just want the powder to go up. And then it looks like that. And then I'll grab a brush. Usually I go for this one right here. This is a very old brush. I don't even know what's the brand, to be honest with you. But it doesn't really matter. I just grab a, like a medium brush or um, a sponge. Um, this product, uh, you can buy a, a little sponge that comes with it. So you can buy that and apply with a sponge. But I like to apply this. I'm just going to dip my brush like that. Tip the excess. I don't want to put a lot of powder on my face. And then I'm going to go into the areas where I need more powder, which is my nose, here on my chin, around my mouth, and a little bit over um, the face. And I'm going to dip again, take the excess, and just go a little bit. I'm not going to go near the eyes, as you guys are seeing. Again, I'm going to do here in between my brows and then what I like to do is I grab my beauty blender and I'm gonna dip it into the powder and I'm gonna apply that underneath the eyes so like that I'll do that both eyes so this is sort of a baking process so that the foundation and the concealer will be set. I'm not going to do that on the top of my eyes, just on the underneath. And I'll just leave it uh, for a couple of minutes and I will go on with other um, steps in my routine. So uh, now I'm going to do my brows. And for my brows I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is a new product I've been using and I love it. Um, this one right here, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and my shade is Graphite, 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 I don't know how to say it. So one of the ends is a little uh, pencil, and then the other is a spoolie. So I'm going to start first with the spoolie, and I'm going to brush my eyebrows upwards, like so. I like the hairs to go up, but then I basically put them back so that they are uplifted, but not that look like lion look, very <laughs> upwards. So I'll just do that on the other one. And now I'll go in with the pencil part of uh, my uh, brow whiz, and I'm just going to fill them in. So I usually like to start bottom, so this part here, do the little tail and just then do the top. So I usually start with my um, right brow, I don't know why, but usually I like to do that. 
So I'm going to go very slowly with a very light hand and I'm just going to fill the brows. Then I'll do my tail just here. A little bit here on the top just to get some definition which I don't have naturally. And then a slight bit here and a very 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 um, light line here because I don't have many hairs here so I like to to do a, s a little bit not much because otherwise it, it won't look very natural so I'll go into the other um, eyebrow and I just do the same thing with a very light hand I'll do the tail then I'll do here on the top And then here, my brows are already very dark, so I don't really need to do much, to be honest. Then very light hand, I'll just do a little bit here, don't want to do too much, like so. And then what I like to do is I'll brush them again, like this. Oh, by the way, sorry if you're hearing the, the cars outside, but, you know, I'm filming next to the window and it's, it's easier, um, easy to hear all of the noise going around, so sorry. Okay, next up I'll go with brow gel and the one I'm using is the L'Oreal Plump and Set Brow Artist in shade Dark Brown. I'm going to show you now, Let's see if the camera is um, filming and showing you. I think uh, the color is dark brown, but I don't really remember the number, but I will leave it linked down below. This is a spoolie-like product, like this. And then I'm going to apply that in my brow very, very uh, slowly with the light hand, because I don't want to put, to put too much product again. It's just to set them a little bit. And I also like a natural look on my brows. I don't like a really thick um, look on my brows. So, yeah. Um, I'll just do the same on the other brow. And that's it. That's enough, guys. Okay. Now I think all of the skin is dry. I'm going to grab the same brush, this one right here. And I'm going to just remove the powder with a very, very light hand. And I'll go a little bit on top of the eyelid so that a little bit that's left over of the powder will go and set uh, the primer I did on my eyes. And that's it. That's good. And now I think, I don't know if I will do my face first, my uh, bronzer and blush and lipstick, or if I will go uh, first with the eyes. But maybe I'll do the eyes first, which makes more sense. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with the eyes, guys. And I will go with uh, my uh, palette from Tom Ford. This is a Tom Ford quad. I really like this palette. Um, the number is the number 03 Body Heat. Right there. And I'll show you the colors. It's really pretty. This is my first ever... Um, eyeshadow palette from from Tom Ford and oh my god it's so good so good the quality is amazing amazing so these are the colors so pretty I mean very very pretty um, colors there so I'm gonna grab a brush let me just see which one I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a brush um, let me just check it out which one I want I think I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a clean. This is a normal, <laughs> a normal everyday uh, tutorial, not a professional one at all. So I'm just literally cleaning the excess from the other day. But if you guys want to do a perfect look, you should wash your brushes, um, wash your beauty blender, and all of that. But this is just a normal, normal tutorial. So I'm using the Oscar Charles. Um, uh, blending brush uh, in uh, the number C107 yes C107 and is this one right here and I'm gonna go in 
with this shade right there the darker one and I'm just gonna dip it a little bit not much just a little bit because obviously I don't want to put too much product and then I can't take it off I just I can add more but I can't take when I put too much on so I'm gonna do let me just think what I'm gonna do this is not um, I didn't think about a specific um, eye look today I'm just gonna do what I usually like to do which is to apply this um, bronzy shade reddish shade um, on the eyelid then a little bit of darker here on the corner and just a little bit of a highlighter in the inner corner and a little bit under the brow bone so that's what I'm gonna do just a little bit I'm gonna close my eye and I'm gonna apply that with a really soft touch and I'm just gonna do that up to the middle of my um, eyelid so as you guys can see I'm not gonna go inwards I'm just gonna go from the middle to the outer corner like this and then I'll apply a little bit more and I'll just tap it into the eye I'm not gonna rub it I'm just gonna tap it and then I can buff it out but for now I'm just gonna tap it a little bit more so just gonna tap it until I have a good amount of product in here I'm just gonna work a little bit on the corner as well and I'm just gonna do that until I see a lot of color in there which I like and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab another brush and I'm gonna buff that out so to buff it out I'm gonna use the Oscar Scholl's C108 this one right here see if the camera um, focuses I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna buff that out so buffing I mean just go on the edges and just pass your brush really really slowly so that it looks um, with no edges basically yeah just gonna do that then I'm gonna apply a little bit more because I think it needs a little bit more perfect that's good I'm gonna buff it out again so it will look very smooth and now I'm gonna grab another brush and I'm gonna do the inner corner which I'm gonna use this brush right here so I'm gonna go with the Oscar Scholl's C110 this one right here I'm gonna clean it just in case it has a little bit leftovers from um, other um, products and I'm gonna use this shade right there and I'm gonna go in the inner corner a little bit more up to where I stopped the other shade so just to give it a little bit of a um, transition and I'm gonna do a little bit underneath my eyebrow here as well that's good a little bit more I want the two shades to touch each other I'm not applying any setting spray this is just directly from um, the case now I'm gonna grab the buffing brush and I'm gonna buff it out just in between and over here so that the the shades all melt together and now I'm gonna grab another brush which is gonna be my corner brush and it's gonna be the Oscar Scholl's C111 so this one right here and this one is an angled brush which is uh, proper to do your uh, corners I'm gonna clean it out and I'm going to apply this shade right here on the corner of my eyes so I'm gonna apply a little bit more than I did the um, bronzy reddish shade take the excess and what I'm gonna do is you see the you see the shape of the of the brush I'm gonna apply that like this and I'll just do a little corner there I'm gonna apply a bit more little corner there and I'm gonna just buff that out and do like 
sort of like a triangle don't know if you guys can see but I'm just literally tapping that onto the corner of my eye a little bit on top of the reddish shade like so like this and now I'm gonna buff it so that they will all blend together and I will apply a little bit more so that I have a little bit of dimension here there you go that's good I'm gonna go back with the first brush and I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the reddish shade here and now I'm gonna blend everything out it's important not to mix brushes so that everything will look very smooth and that's good guys now I'm gonna go with a little brush and I'm go gonna do the under eye and I'm gonna grab another brush which is the Oscar Scholl's C115 so it's this one right there with a very small um, round tip I'm gonna clean it out and I'm gonna do and I'm gonna go with the reddish shade and I'm gonna apply that underneath uh, here my eye uh, from where I started so I will start from the same point I started the red on the top so from sort of like middle and I'm gonna rub that I'm gonna rub that onto the corner of my eye so this part is a little bit difficult because obviously you have a little bit of wrinkles there or not wrinkles just like a softer skin so it's it's always a bit harder to do and I'm gonna grab another uh, brush and then I'm, I'm gonna do uh, this part right here with the same color I used above I'm gonna use the Oscar Scholl's C112 which is a very small angular brush don't need to use this one you can use the same one as before but just um, because it's a clean brush I'll just use that here in the inner corner to match the top and I'm gonna do a little bit here as well so I'm gonna match the colors on the top and the bottom like so and now I'll blend it onto the red now I'll clean this brush I'm wearing now I'm using now and I'm gonna pick up the darker shade this one and I'm gonna apply it in the inner corner on top of the red so I'm gonna connect um, the darker shade below and above and that's good and now I'm just grabbing a blending brush the same one I used and I'm gonna blend the underneath my eyes so I'm just gonna uh, pass with a very light hand on top of that and uh, yeah just gonna blend here a little bit and the eye is almost done. After this, I'll just go with my eyeliner, mascara, and that will be it for the eye, guys. Okay, so now I'll do the other eye off camera, and I'll come back and I'll do the eyeliner with you guys. Okay, guys, so I did the other eye off camera, and now I'm gonna go in with um, this eyeliner right here. This is the Kiko Deep Black Casual. So this is for my waterline. I'm going to do a black waterline. I'm just going to apply that delicately on my uh, waterline in both eyes. And I'm going to go also on the top. It will help me a lot with the eyeliner. So it will look uh, the eye will look a bit more deep if I do top and bottom it's not easy because I don't want to touch my makeup there we go and now I'm gonna do the same on the other eye I like a black eyeliner guys I really do and this is literally what I would do for a day makeup I'm gonna do the top part as well this one is also very is easy to apply as you guys see the the tip is very thick so easy to apply on the top waterline and that's good enough 
And now I'm gonna go in with my trusty um, eyeliner. I love an eyeliner uh, winged look. And one I use is the Guerlain Mad Eyes um, Black Eyeliner. This is the number 001, if I'm not mistaken, and is my favorite eyeliner. Um, a little bit expensive product. This is around 30 pounds, but it's really good. So I have a little mirror here next to me and I'm gonna do uh, my eyeliner uh, with my mirror. So I'm just going to show you how it looks like, like that, and I'm going to go from the inner corner to the outer corner. What I like to do is I put my hand here and then just with my hand against my cheek I'll do the line. I like a thick line guys, so that's what I'm gonna, gonna do today. I'll go up to the corner and I will do the flick on the bottom part of the darker eyeshadow. Just gonna dip it again. And that's it. I will just connect the, the top part with the bottom part. And there you go, a wing liner. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And I'm not going to open my eyes too much because I don't want to ruin um, my makeup while the eyeliner is still wet. Then the little wing. Okay, I think I will do a little bit more on this side. And there you go guys. My eyeliner is done and now I'll let it dry. I won't apply mascara just yet because I don't want to smudge it out. I'm going to do my um, complexion instead. So first of all I'm going to use my bronzer and the one, sorry pardon me, the one I use every day is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, this one right here. The name is the Airbrush bronzer and I use the shade 2 medium. How beautiful is this box by the way? How stunning! And as you guys can see, I use it a lot. So I'm going to grab a brush. I'm going to use the Oscar Scholl's C103 brush. This one right here. It's an angled uh, bronzer brush. I'm going to just whirl it, whirl it around. And I'm just going to do upward round movements here on my cheek. A little bit more. I'm going to go a little bit up to my temples and just buff it out for a um, very soft bronzing look. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Go a little bit upwards. A little, bit, a little bit more because I'm very pale these days. I haven't... Well, I came back from holiday 
in uh, in October, but I'm still um, I'm already very pale because obviously when you live in the UK, I'm gonna do a little bit on top of my nose just to give it a little bit of dimension and I'm gonna do also a little bit on my jaw not very technical as you guys can see I'm not a makeup artist this is just what I like to do and I'm also gonna go a little bit here not not much and I'm gonna go spread it out between my my eyebrows more a little bit in there more in there and that's good for bronzer guys now I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. I'm going to use the NARS Orgasm, which is my favorite blush. This one right here, so pretty. And for the brush, I'm going to use the C102 by Oscar Schultz. As you guys can see, I'm using this palette. It's really good. Um, this palette, sorry. <laughs> These makeup brushes from Oscar Schultz, they came in this little um uh, storage and i bought them on amazon and it's a really good quality not very expensive and to be honest with you it makes a massive massive difference for your makeup um you need good brushes for your makeup so i'm gonna apply i'm just gonna tap it and then i'm gonna tap it on top of the bronzer on the top part and a little bit upwards as well i'm gonna do the same on the other side and i'm gonna do a bit of the nose a bit here a bit more. I like a lot of blusher as you guys can see and that's good for blush guys. Okay I think the eyes are now dry so I'm gonna apply my mascara and the one I use is the Lancome Grandiose mascara uh, in shade black. I think it's the number one but I'll show you. So is the Lancome Grandiose mascara this is the wand, it's like a twisted, inverted wand. So I'm going to dip that and I'm going to apply lots of mascara, which I love. I'm going to apply that. I don't like to use any false lashes for day to day, I don't have to be honest any patience or time to do that so I just go with mascara I'll do first the top lashes in both eyes and then I'll go with the bottom ones I just like to make sure that the top ones are dry before I go with the bottom ones This mascara is amazing, by the way. I love Lancome mascaras, but this grandiose one, it's very uh, thickening, uh, it's very lengthening, and it separates your uh, lashes very well. So I really, really like them. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the bottom ones. Uh, I should wait a little bit, but to be honest, I am a bit impatient to, impatient to show you my... Um, to show you my unboxing which is oh, amazing so I'm just gonna do that now and pray for the best like I said I'm no makeup artist so sometimes these things go wrong as you guys know probably so I'm gonna dip it again Ooh. I hope I don't smudge this near the end I just hope I don't smudge it near the end, guys. Bit more on the top lashes. Oh, I love this mascara, it's so nice. Okay, the mascara is done. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm not gonna move my eyes that much. And I think I'm gonna go and grab some, um, a little bit of lip balm because my lips are super dry. So, yeah. I'm gonna go with the Carmex lip balm, super affordable, you can find it anywhere, boots, any, any um, retailers have Carmex and I'm just gonna apply a little bit 
And because I have long nails, as you guys can see, I'm just gonna go with the top of my nail and just apply a little bit on the bottom. And... Hmm. Done. A little bit of um, lip balm. And now for the last step, well not last step because I still have to grab the um, setting spray which is super super important, I will apply my lipstick. And when I use every single day, it's a little bit of a strange one, it's like a high street one. Um, it's not a luxury lipstick but it's the one I really like. Um, it's the, what's the name, uh, Superstay, uh, Maybelline Superstay 24 hour color. So this one right here. This is one of my favorite lipsticks in the market and it's uh, super affordable. I think this is around £10 now, 9 99 I think. And uh, it's long wear, so this will last 24 hours. Um, it's super comfortable to wear as a long wear lipstick. And I can wear it for work. I'm a flight attendant um, on my main job uh, outside of YouTube. And uh, this lasts me for more than 24 hours. It's amazing. The shade I like to use is this bright red, as you guys see. Um, it's the uh, shade 510 and it's a bright red, like a Ferrari red. So this I'm going to apply. So... One of the sides is this little brush, and then you have the shine um, on the other side. So I'm going to apply that. Very bright. Okay guys, I went to grab my setting spray that I had forgotten and while I did that I'm letting the lipstick dry. So to apply the other part of the lipstick you have to let this uh, first layer dry and that's what I'm going to do. When it's completely dry you will apply this part right here which is like a shine um, and comfort, and comfort um, layer. So when you apply this, the lips will be, will feel more comfortable and more um, shiny. So hopefully I won't smudge my lips while it's drying. I think I already smudged a little bit, but I'm gonna let it dry. And while I do that, I'm gonna do some uh, setting spray. The one I use is the Maybelline Lasting Fix. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna show you like this. Lasting Fix. This is for a matte makeup, which is the one I like to use every day. So I'm just going to shake it and I'm going to spray it all over. And let it dry and when my lipstick is done, I will apply the shine and my makeup will be done, guys. And that's it. I usually do the makeup super quickly, this makeup super quickly. But today, because I was like taking my time and explaining it to you guys, it, it took a little bit uh, longer. But yeah, this is literally what I do every day. Some sometimes I don't do the eyeshadow, but I like to do it when I have time. Um, so that, you know, like a smoky look, it's always so pretty and I really like to do it. But to be completely honest and transparent, sometimes I don't do the, the eyeshadow. I just do the eyeliner, uh, lashes, eyebrows and all the skin with the red, li red lipstick, which I love the red lipstick. It's my favorite. So yeah. Okay, I think the lipstick is now dry, so I'm going to apply this little part here. And just on top, I'm going to apply that. And this is it, guys. The look is complete. And this is what I wear every day for my everyday makeup. 
and um, nothing else this is it I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the setting spray just to set the lipstick that the lipstick that I just applied and this is it this is the makeup hope you guys like it and um, I will now uh, get dressed because I'm wearing just a robe as you guys can see I will get dressed and then I will come back and show you the amazing unboxing I have for you today Okay guys, I got dressed. I put on this beautiful um, top, long sleeve top by River Island. And this is quite recent. I got it really, really recently, like two, three weeks ago. And I did a haul with some other beautiful basics uh, for winter. If you guys want to see it, I will leave it li uh, linked above for you. I also put on uh, some uh, jewelry. I'm wearing this beautiful um, just Cavalli uh, necklace. This is so stunning with a a serpent here how beautiful is that and I'm also wearing uh, earrings by Jess Cavalli these are really beautiful as well they are not a set but because they are both from Jess Cavalli I like to wear them together for rings I'm wearing my usual um, wedding ring and wedding band my ruby ring and my black diamond ring that Sean got me for my birthday and on this hand I'm wearing this beautiful uh, citrine ring that Sean got me when I got uh, for my birthday years ago and this one is by Etika. I'm also having new nails, I don't know if you guys noticed earlier when I was doing my makeup, probably did obviously, um, but they are very like festive, sparkly, let me show you closer, so it's literally like a basic um, grey pinkish color with sparkles and then I asked the girl to add a little bit of sparkles just on the tip how beautiful is this and then a little bit of a diamond uh, on my ring finger and on also my thumb hopefully the camera can I'll show you this one will be easier the camera can uh... no it doesn't want to focus there we go so these are my festive nails and I really like them so much. Let me know what you think. Do you like them? Um, I think it's a little bit also New Year's. Okay, festive. New Year's is festive time, but I mean, maybe I should have gone for gold. I don't know. What you think? Let me know. Um, okay, so without further ado, this is the look I'm wearing. I uh, put on some black trousers and they are uh, Max Mara. Uh, they are the black vintage Max Mara trousers that I got at Kodoni and they're so pretty. And yeah, just a simple black look. Uh, I need to do a few errands today. I need to go to the vets, Nikita's vets, to pay a bill that I forgot to pay. That's a bit embarrassing, but you know, whatever. I need to go so and do some shopping, like grocery shopping. I need then to come home and have a little bit of a jizz of the house because I'm going on a little mini break well not mini break on a proper holiday it's actually a proper holiday but yeah i need to clean the house i need to start organizing some stuff for my uh, upcoming holiday but i'll tell you all about it in another video today i will this is probably already so long but i will unbox with you an amazing a box this one right here I already open it as you guys can see but i will i will show you what it's inside so i got something at gucci and this was my first Christmas present this year and I already have it, I already opened it. Um, this is a Christmas present from João and um, I was so excited when uh, he got me this. I already opened it, uh, it arrived last week but I wanted to share it with you guys because it's from a different uh, kind of, um, well it's from Gucci but it's from a different kind of um, area in the Gucci store. Oh, this is so difficult to explain, but I will, I will explain. So yeah, he got me this as a Christmas present. He will give me more stuff, but he was so excited for me to see it that he decided, okay, you can open it now. And I was like, yes, please, let's do it. So yeah, so he got this um, in the Gucci website. So he went online um, on the Gucci.com and apparently there's a new area on the Gucci site called Gucci Vault which is, I love the name by the way, Gucci Vault. It's like something more special and it is, it's actually a more special area of the Gucci site. So basically what they have there is vintage um, clothing and accessories from Gucci. So everything is Gucci, um, but you have um, clothing, uh, shoes, 
um, accessories, all vintage, so things you can't find anywhere else. And they're all approved by Gucci. It's all um, beautiful pieces that you will not find anywhere else and that's it, why it's called Gucci Vault and they also have inside the Gucci Vault an area for other designers to showcase their products but all the products that are there designed by other people are approved by Gucci so they only have small very small capsule collections like four products or I was showing three, four products or two products or three products from a certain designer that was pre-approved by Gucci and that they allow to showcase their products in the Gucci site. So as you can imagine, it's all very special um, products uh, that are with, that have an amazing design and that are from very special new upcoming designers. So when João told me about this, I was like, Oh my goodness, I had no idea that Gucci was doing this. Apparently it's very recent. I even went online to see if there were like people doing unboxings about Gucci Vault. And there was just a few uh, TikToks. I didn't really see much, uh, much um, about this. But I was so excited. So again, Gucci Vault is um, an area inside the Gucci uh, site where you have vintage Gucci and then you have another area which is um, approved um, by Gucci, uh, designers, upcoming designers or established designers that did limited edition products just for the Gucci vault. I forgot to say that. All of the Gucci products uh, that are new, that are not vintage um, in the vault are um, limited editions. So um, anything you buy, I will explain better, anything you buy inside the Gucci vault that it's not vintage Gucci will be from another designer but it will be limited edition for Gucci. So if that makes sense. So imagine there is a designer that has a site with their uh, latest collection. Um, he will design specific limited edition uh, products for this um, uh, Gucci uh, area um, uh, in the website, in the Gucci site. I don't know if I explained well. I mean, this will probably be very confusing. But again, it's limited edition products. They are not Gucci, but they are pre-approved by Gucci and they have stunning, stunning design and that you won't find anywhere else. And it's a very limited edition capsule uh, product. So the product I got today, probably nobody else will have it. And um, only people that got um, into the Gucci vault and bought this product there so I mean nobody else will have this product and when Jean told me about this I was so excited so basically I'll be the only person um, using or uh, having owning this item um, apart from three or four other people in the Gucci universe that bought the same product. I don't know how many they release. Uh, it's a limited edition so it will be not many pieces and oh my god I'm so 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 excited to show you but I will stop rambling because I mean I just want to show you. Okay so the box came in the mail like this normal box and then when you open you have this amazing colors inside. This is the colors of the Gucci vault. Uh, yellow and green. How pretty. Okay guys, I'm really sorry my battery died while I was filming, so I really apologize. Um, I don't know how it died because I was just filming for a little while. Anyway, I will show you now the amazing unboxing, I promised. So I think I was at this moment here um, showing you uh, the beautiful Vault Gucci Vault box. Inside I have this little card here, how cute. I think this is just um, a thank you note. Yes, how pretty is that? It does say Gucci Vault and then on the other side wishing you a wonderful and peaceful holiday season from all of us at Vault. At Gucci Vault, hashtag Gucci Vault. So here you go. And then inside you have a beautiful, beautiful uh, bag which is a dust bag. And it does say um, Gucci Vault right there. This is a beautiful tote, like maybe for a um, beach. Um, and then, just show you, it comes in this beautiful white box, my item, with the beautiful green sparkly, um, green sparkly uh, ribbon. 
I'm gonna take the box out and show you. Put the other one on the floor with the dust bag and the little card. And then, here you go. Just open that. And here you go. So Joan got me something from this brand called Luar and it's so beautiful um, I didn't know the brand but I'm gonna leave it linked down below for you guys if you're interested to check it out uh, they do amazing amazing accessories they do uh, bags and I'm not sure if they do anything else or if it's just specifically bags but the the bag John got me a bag and the bag that it's in here is um, a limited edition for Gucci Vault so if you go on the website on Luar web website you won't find it there so it's um, a limited edition uh, for Gucci uh, Vault. So if you want to uh, get this exact bag, you'll have to buy it at Gucci Vault. So I'm going to open it for you. It comes with uh, the dust bag. And then inside, this is the box. This is the item Jean got me. My first Christmas uh, present. And this is the name of the brand. I'm gonna open it on the top here. Oh my God. You guys know I love bags, so ready? This is so exciting. I mean, oh, so pretty. And here she is. I'm just gonna open this side a little bit more. And here she is guys how stunning is my little bag from Loire this is the back actually and this is the front so it says Loire just there I hope you guys can see and this is a very small I would say very small size bag maybe like a clutch with this beautiful zebra print and then a beautiful green uh, yellow greenish um, um, olive maybe olive colored uh, yellow greenish uh, color how pretty I love the handles how beautiful and it's a very it's a very cute bag in my opinion it's beautiful um, it's not very big as you guys can see it's more like of a everyday clutch bag and then over here you have the Gucci Vault um, uh, little cards and then on the back you have another one uh, from Gucci, which is, um, I think, this is how to take care of your bag. Yes. And yeah, just the Gucci vault uh, right there. How beautiful is this little one? I mean, if you go on Loire's website, you won't find this style. You'll find brown, black, white and other beautiful colors, but you won't find this stunning one. And I was so, so happy. And this bag also comes with a um, crossbody a strap, which is right here with the same color. And then you have um, these attachments here. Uh, to attach to the sides of the bag uh, so it attaches on this little uh, ring right there I will show you the, the inside but this is so pretty I mean it's such a gorgeous unique bag don't you think um, this is the inside of the bag it has a little pocket over there it's not very big as you guys can see but it's stunning this is an all leather bag so absolutely amazing amazing quality and I love the style I mean I've never seen anything quite like this I don't know what you guys think but for me it's just stunning stunning and uh, this uh, brand Loire um, became famous because Dua Lipa I think it was Dua Lipa I think it was Dua Lipa had this very uh, bag uh, but in a brown shade meanwhile she got uh, another one which was a limited edition as well um, in another shade I think it was a, um, a bright green one and uh, yeah so then the brand became famous and then they collaborated with Gucci and um, they created Created this beautiful style for Gucci Vault and also another style in orange so if you go on Gucci Vault you'll find this one and you'll find a bigger one a maxi one in orange color so you can find um, 
a similar style bag but a bigger a bigger size like a tote um, in orange color but I think João chosen perfectly I think this one is so much more my style obviously it's animal print you guys know how much I love my animal print and uh, this is a different kind of animal print as well it's like a zebra print I already have a bag with a zebra print it's a Dolce & Gabbana one black and white but this one is so different guys it's such a different type of bag and I love that it comes with a body strap with a crossbody strap so you can wear it crossbody how stunning is this little one I mean let me know what you think I hope you guys like it I love it I was thinking how the hell I'm gonna style this but I mean with the black outfit it would look stunning um, and I think I can wear it also for the day with the crossbody strap but I mean in the hand it looks so cool I mean this is a cool bag I for me it's a very cool bag let me know what you think uh, your impressions on this beautiful bag and check out the brand Loire because they have stunning stunning uh, pieces and I really really love it I think this brand is American if I'm not mistaken uh, or at least they sell in uh, the United States I think the name Luar is the name of the designer backwards so I think he's called Raul which is a southern um, South American uh, name if I'm not mistaken um, and yeah, he inverted his name and created Luar as a brand, uh, which is really funny because Luar, this exact word in Portuguese, which is my mother language, it's uh, it means Luar means in Portuguese um, the light of the moon, which is beautiful. I think when I saw the name, I thought, oh, maybe it, he's Portuguese or the designer is Portuguese, but no, it's just a coincidence. It's actually his name backwards. But yeah, I mean, how cute is this little bag? Um, this is also a very good price point, even on the um, Gucci Vault site. Uh, so it's under 300 pounds, if I'm not, I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe I am. I'm, I can't tell you 100%, but I think it's under uh, 300 pounds, this uh, small one. The bigger one is a little bit more expensive, but I mean, this is such a stunning little clutch for day and for evening. I couldn't be happier. And this is my very first um, Luar bag and my first Christmas present from this year, guys. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about my beautiful Luar bag. Um, I'm in love. Let me know also what you thought about my beautiful a makeup today. I do apologize that now it's been a couple of hours since my battery died so my lipstick is not looking amazing because I already had something to eat, I had a drink, I went out to pay um, a bill at my vet's here close to our home, I went to the shops so I mean it's been a couple of hours now and um, yeah it's not looking as fresh as it was when I first finished um, but anyway let me know if you enjoyed my uh, daily makeup up with you and I will leave you now uh, I hope you have an amazing rest of week and day and I'll see you here Sunday at 7 p.m until then I wish you an amazing day I love you so much and I'll see you later guys